What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol CNTX for Context Therapeutics. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will be a new one to the channel, so we're going to start with a daily roadmap, if you will, just coming in and pointing out the most obvious areas of support and resistance. Then we'll talk more nuance as we drill down to the 30-minute intraday time frame. So just coming in, mapping out the obvious ones. You never want to cherry-pick the true all-time high, so eight will do. It's also a nice psychological number. And then lastly, I would also point out the opening print uh, of this newer, it's either a SPAC merger or an IPO open. Regardless, in each case, you want to know where your opening print is. Look at that thing of beauty held up as support for this little bit of a bounce that we've seen recently. So that's going to do it for the daily roadmap. I'm sure many of you are saying, but hey, look at what's going on in the post market. And don't worry, I've got you. I can see it is going to be opening or it's very likely rather that we will open on a gap up. Remember that a lot can happen between now and 930. But what we're about to discuss is a framework to help us navigate the actual opening bell. So we want to know where the forecasted opening print is, as well as the overnight high, which is up there close to seven, the nice round number. We'll turn that back off and talk in terms of scenarios here from the daily perspective. So the first thing we always think about whenever we're dealing with a gap could be up or down is the gap and trap. And that looks like if you open here, fail to take out the overnight high, trade back lower through the open, that's a short trigger to fill the gap to the prior day's high at and around six dollars and eight cents now are you actually going to short this thing let's come on over to the trade tab what you can clearly see is there are no shares to borrow and obviously there's no options chain down here so you're not going to short it you're just going to avoid longs in the case where it takes out the opening print after failing to take out the overnight high so again it doesn't have to do something like this and then all the way back down not at all what i'm saying is even if we get something like this and then back down through the open you're not going to try to buy that open again you're waiting to see if we can get a gap fill reversal so that's really the scenario that I would watch out for in this stock. So again, could look something like this, failure, back down through the open patience. If we can start printing hammer candles down here, indecision doji candles down here, basically things that make you question, right? Are we going to support at the gap fill area? Then you can flip long back through the opening print if there's a bounce to retarget the overnight high. That's how I see this long unfolding. Of course, if it's supported by good volume down below. That brings me to my next point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, 30 minute to see if we're missing anything here a bit of an uptick in volume into the second half of the day and again if this is really going to run I, I would need to see volume at least on par with like a million shares per 30 minute bar, noting that this is a very cheap stock, right? It's six bucks, five bucks. If this is going to be, you know, really moving on momentum, a million shares really isn't that big of a deal to hit. So for a momentum style play, look out for that volume metric. What else are we noticing about the 30 minute? Not a whole lot, to be quite honest with you. I suppose this is a great example because if you look at what happened here, technically we opened on a gap up. So here's Friday's session from here to here. We open on the gap up. We fill that gap. Remember, you're not shorting it. Look at that perfect hammer candle that printed on the gap fill area, reversed, took out the opening print, and went for a nice run. If that exact play can reform right here, then there you go. That's a perfect setup for you to be watching into tomorrow's session. The volume is the icing on the cake. If it's truly going to make a huge momentum move all the way back up to about seven bucks. I mean, think about that. We're talking about, you know, call it 75 cents on a sub $10 stock. Definitely something to be paying attention to. If we break down underneath the prior day's high and just get acceptance into the range, you're just not going to touch it. You're not fishing for longs. It would really require some sort of pattern uh, if we dip down into range for some sort of reversal. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.